All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to Duvet by Boa. If you haven't seen my other video I did on this song, you don't need to see it before watching this one. This one will be a standalone kind of thing. Uh, but I did do a, like a simple tutorial on an easy way that you can play this song a while back. And I got a comment from someone pointing out how the chord voicings that I had shown in that tutorial are actually different from what's used in the original recording of the song. So I thought I'd do a follow-up video and kind of go into more detail and show you as best I can how this song was originally played by Boa. The first chord of this song is going to be a G add 6. So you're going to take your regular G chord shape but leave your top E string open. So what you'll get is uh, bottom E string, third fret, A string, second fret, and then you'll, you'll play the uh, B string, third fret as well, and then everything else is open. So three, two, open, open, three, open. From there, you'll go to your B minor shape, but again leave that top E string open. That top E string is going to stay open throughout the verse. So you'll play index finger on your A string 2nd fret, then D string 4th fret, G string 4th fret, B string 3rd fret, and your open E string. third chord is your E minor 7. You're going to play your E minor chord, that's uh, play the second fret of your A and D strings, and then you're also going to add that third fret B string. So the verse all together sounds like this. you're going to play an E minor chord, but all the way up here. Put your uh, index finger on the A string 7th fret, then play D string 9, G string 9, and B string 8. Then you're going to leave both your E strings open. And you'll get this kind of high register E minor chord. Next what you're going to do is bring your index finger down to the E string. So you're going to make a power chord shape on that note. Um, that's going to be 7, 9, 9, and then you're going to mute the string above that. So that that's not going to ring out at all. And leave your top two strings open. Then you're going to slide that shape down to the 3rd fret, index finger on the 3rd fret, 3, 5, 5, and then your middle finger is going to play the 4th fret, the 4th fret, pardon me, um, on your G string there. Again, those top two strings stay open. So that chorus rhythm is going to be this. chord one time and let it ring. Okay, next up things are going to get a bit tricky because this is the um, section that has kind of the finger picking solo and what we're going to do is we're going to play the chords that go under that. In the original recording there's no guitar that's actually strumming these chords so the strumming patterns I've written out for you in the tab on screen here are just like a rhythm that fits. It's not something that was played in the original recording just so you know. So you're going to start with your G major bar chord, that's index finger on the 3rd fret and just across all those frets. And then you'll play your A string 5, D string 5, and your G string 4. Next you're going to go up to that E minor chord up on the 7th fret here that we did earlier, but instead of leaving uh, strings open, you're going to bar across. 
So you're playing the seventh fret of that top string. So that goes seven, nine, nine, eight, seven. Take that same shape, slide it all the way down to your second fret. So we've got two, four, four, three, two. Then up two frets, four, six, six, five, four. Then you're gonna move it up one fret, except you're gonna change the shape a bit so it's a major chord. So that's gonna be five, seven, 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 five. Some people also like to play that shape with just the one finger barred across these three strings. You don't necessarily have to get that top note. It's a bit, it's a bit tricky to get it when you play it that way. After that, you're going to move all the way up to the ninth fret and go back to that minor chord shape. So 9, 11, 11, 10, 9. Back down to the seventh fret and play that E minor chord again. Then what you're going to do is take your pinky off of the G string and move it down to the tenth fret of the A string. up with this C-shaped G chord. The last chord of this section is back to your B minor on the second fret. That's two, four, four, three, two again. And then the bottom note plays this kind of melody that goes. So you can kind of incorporate that into your strumming like this. Okay, let's bring it all the way back to the beginning of that section and play through the whole thing slowly. Something like that. Okay, after that section, the slide guitar solo comes in, and during that section, the uh, rhythm guitar is just playing the chords from the verse. The last section we have to cover is that last bridge section with all those big, powerful vocal ad libs and all that. And that section is going to be just four chords, and the first three are going to be the same three as the chorus, just with a different rhythm. So you're going to play two bars on each chord. chord is just going to be your plain old E minor chord. That's open, two, two, open, open, open. And you're back into that last chorus and that's how it ends. Okay, I hope that was helpful to you and was clear and made sense. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. And yeah, see you around.